Welcome back to another video, Soil here, and today I want to teach you a trading strategy based on Doji Candle. It's one of the best Doji strategies that help you make short-term quick profits with minimum amount of risk. Stay tuned and let's get started. Alright, first let me give you a very brief introduction to Doji Candle and different types of Dojis and then we'll start our trading strategy which is based on Doji Candle. Dojis are one of the most important candles that form on the chart and they play an important role in some other candlestick patterns and also they are the key candle in many price action trading strategies. A Doji Candle forms when the open and the close prices are approximately equal or exactly equal in the perfect situation. The color of the Doji Candle doesn't matter because the body is very small or non-existent. Dojis are generally considered short candlesticks which means that the upper and lower shadows are small but we have different types of dojis based on different length of shadows that occur in practice which I'll explore them later in this video. A doji candle shows indecision in the market and from a psychological point of view it shows a tug of war between buyers and sellers. It shows that none of the buyers and sellers could take the control and the result is a standoff. Bullish traders pushed the price up but bearish traders stepped in and rejected the higher prices and forced the price down and on the other hand while the bearish traders were forcing the price down the buyers didn't allow the price to go lower and push the price up and at the end after these ups and downs the candle closed at the price it was opened which it shows indecision among buyers and sellers. So dojis are generally neutral and a kind of show a pause in the market and its interpretation depends on where it's formed or what the previous candle is. This candle that the opening and closing prices are approximately equal and the shadows are short and approximately same length is called common doji, plus sign doji, doji star or just doji and in this video we just call it doji. Another type of doji is long leg doji. In long leg doji we have long shadows with with approximately same length. Long leg doji shows greater volatility in compared to the plus sign doji and the shadows show that the buyers and sellers were active in the session and could push the price up and down significantly. However, the end result is a standoff and it shows indecision. Another kind of doji is cross doji. In cross doji, we have long lower shadow and short upper shadow. The long lower shadow shows that sellers drove the price to lower levels significantly but buyers at the end took the control and pushed the price to the level it was opened. Cross doji is generally considered bullish but being bullish or bearish depends on where it forms. We have also inverted cross doji. In inverted cross doji we have long upper shadow and short lower shadow. The long upper shadow shows buyers push the price up significantly but these higher prices were rejected and sellers took the control and drove the price to the level it was opened. Inverted cross doji is generally considered bearish but being bearish or bullish depends on where it forms. And another type of doji is dragonfly doji. Dragonfly doji is similar to cross doji but here we don't have upper shadow which means that open, close and high are equal. This doji also shows rejection of lower prices and is generally considered bullish but the interpretation of being bullish or bearish depends on where this candle forms. And we have also gravestone doji. Gravestone doji is similar to inverted cross but without the lower shadow which means that open, close and low are equal. This candle shows rejection of higher prices and is generally considered bearish but here also being bearish or bullish depends on where it forms. Gravestone doji and dragonfly doji in compared to cross and inverted cross dojis are stronger and they are more significant when they form on the chart. And the last type of doji is 4 price doji and 4 price doji open close high and low are equal and the doji is just a horizontal line. It's a very rare doji and not forming frequently and it shows the ultimate indecision. Here I just give you a brief introduction to different types of dojis but if you want full explanation and learn the patterns that are based on dojis I have a complete course in 6 episodes. It's a comprehensive guide on all kinds of candlesticks including dojis and candlesticks 
basic patterns. The links are also in the description of this video and I recommend you to watch them later so you better understand how to analyze candlestick charts. All right, now let's begin our trading strategy. This is a short term trading strategy for making quick profit. It's a kind of in and out operation. This is a hit and run trading strategy. We enter and shortly after we exit our position with small profit and it's not designed for riding on the trends and catching large swings. This trading strategy is built based on doji candle and the doji type that is used in this strategy is the plus sign doji or star doji and we just call it doji in this video. Unlike many other trading strategies that use doji candle as a pause and a signal for reversal in this strategy we use doji for entering in the direction of the market not against it. So this trading strategy provides a high probability trade with smaller amount of risk because we are entering in the direction of the market and also because doji candle shows indecision and a kind of balance between forces of buyers and sellers it's probable to have a whipsaw after that i mean happening of a false breakout having a support or resistance level broken but then shortly after the price recovers and goes back to the prior direction we also take advantage of this fact in our trading strategy the time frame used in this strategy is one day and we also use a simple moving average with length of 14. The first step is identifying the current direction of the market for buying or entering a long position. The price must move upward consistently above the 14 period moving average like what you see here. By having this situation, we have enough reasons to believe that the price is advancing. Then we must wait for a doji candle that forms near the 14 period moving average line and this doji must be totally contained in the price range of the previous candle. In other words, our doji must be inside the previous candle range which is from low to high. For long trade setup, this usually happens in the lower half of the previous candle. This pattern is actually called Harami cross. It's a bullish Harami cross and it shows that the price is going to change its direction and advance. But we're not going to enter just based on this pattern. Entering based on this pattern can result in what is expected. But there is a risk that after this doji, we may get a whipsaw like what happened here. The price broke the moving average line, which is acting as a support level, but shortly after it recovered and it turned out that it was a false breakout so now you know that what would have happened if we entered here based on the doji and the harami cross pattern and aggressive traders may not care and enter at this point when there is a bullish signal and end up with a loss he or she is taking more risk in exchange of more reward but we want to limit our risk as much as possible and enter only in trades that offer high probability of getting the expected result so we wait for a breakout after doji actually a false breakout if the breakout turns out to be a real breakout so we'll be happy for not entering the trade and if it turns out to be a whipsaw so again we are happy for not entering the trade at this point because our stop loss would definitely got hit by this whipsaw now by putting all these pieces of the puzzle together we have the opportunity of entering a low risk trade with high probability of getting the expected result because we are going to enter in the current direction of the market and limiting our risk as much as possible. We enter a long position when the price turns back and passes above the doji candle opening closing price and the stop loss is placed below the current daily candle low and the profit target is set above the high of our pattern high. As I explained at the beginning of this video, we're not going to stay for a long period of time by the help of this trading strategy and this is a short term trading strategy for for making quick profit and we have the similar trading setup for entering a short position but in the opposite direction for selling or opening a short position the price must move downward consistently below the 14 period moving average line and then we must wait for a doji candle near the moving average line and this doji must be totally inside the price range of the previous candle for short trade setup this usually happens in the upper half of the previous candle this pattern is actually actually bearish harami cross and it shows the possibility that the price is going to change its direction and decline but similar to bullish setup in our previous example we wait for a breakout after doji a false breakout above the moving average line we enter a short position when the price turns back and passes below the doji candle opening closing price and the stop loss is placed above the current daily candle high and the profit target is 
set below the low of our pattern low. As I've already explained, we're not going to stay for a long period of time by the help of this trading strategy. And this is a short term hit and run trading strategy for making quick profit. This trading setup explained in this video doesn't happen frequently, but when you have it, it provides you a high probability trade with minimum amount of risk. All right, that's it. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and leave a comment for me. I'll answer your questions as soon as possible. If you found any value in this video, please like it. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit the bell so you get the notifications of my new videos. See you guys in next video and good luck with your trading.